Hi, I'm Peter McGuinness with Margination Technologies. I'm here at uh, CES showing you some of our IP in the vision and video line. What we have here is a demonstration of um, a, a, a video tracking and analytics system, which is uh, implemented by a partner of ours, Vidaro, who have uh, loaned us one of their time of flight cameras, which is above the floor here, and which is mapping an area of the floor to be tracked. Uh, and on the screen here, you can see that uh, the people, the images of the people in the, uh, in the field of view are labeled, tagged, and tracked and their software provides uh, a way of tracking when people move within the region of interest, uh, when they move out of it, what they do, what they look at while they're there. Our interest in this is that uh, they've taken their algorithms and they've ported them to OpenCL so that they can run them on the GPU in the system. Uh, it's a very, very heavy duty imaging application and so by porting it over to OpenCL they get a much better power profile uh, and much better performance for um, some sort of uh, embedded system. So this makes it possible to implement this as a, as a point of sale or a, um, uh, an you know, install um, uh, application which has got the right power and performance characteristics. The next demo is, dem uh, is showing something that, uh, that we have put together to make it easier for uh, OEMs to uh, implement vision systems and uh, imaging systems within a standard Android platform um, and uh, allow them to differentiate their products from, uh, from other from their competitors' products by using the GPU as a processing element. The, uh, the most difficult thing to achieve within the imaging pipeline and when the imaging pipeline uh, includes a number of different hardware blocks, it can be the camera pipeline handing off uh, images to the GPU which will then hand off those images to the uh, video encoder or hand it off to the display unit. Uh, the most difficult thing to achieve is to move all of that data through the system in an efficient manner. Um, normally, under standard Android conditions, this involves a lot of copying of data um, around in memory, in main memory, simply to move it from one hardware block to another. What we've done is we've implemented an imaging framework which uh, reduces the number of copies that are necessary so that instead of passing data, the application can simply pass pointers. Uh, so what's being shown here is um, a, a video rate, this is an HD uh, video, it's a, a video rate filter which uh, if, you, if, if we zoom in uh, you can see uh, is implementing uh, a fisheye lens effect, a kind of an Instagram like filter, which is only really achievable in this form factor on this um, uh, sort of a, um, an SOC uh, by using OpenCL and by using the zero copy mechanism that we've implemented in the imaging framework. Um, <coughs> this is a demonstration, uh, once again, of an uh, OpenCL implementation of face detection. Uh, face detectors, as you see there, it's detected my face. So face detect is one of the basic um, uh, functions of, of all of the imaging uh, equipment that we're familiar with. It's, uh, it's present in cameras, uh, it's becoming more present in uh, things like surveillance cameras, things like that. And so uh, implementing it on the, uh, on the GPU uh, means that you get a much better power uh, profile. And, uh, and it makes it suitable for implementation on handsets. So this enables proliferation of imaging and computer vision uh, uh, functions right out into um, mid-range and mass market handsets. Moving on from there. This is a, a relatively new piece of hardware IP that we've, uh, we've just introduced within the last uh, 12 months. It's our camera pipeline. Um, and so uh, what you see is a camera test board here, which is pointing at our little test scene. Um, <coughs> and it's uh, producing the, uh, the, the, the image on the, on the screen here. Now the thing about the ISP is uh, it's uh, intended to produce uh, uh, the images. But we've taken all of our hardware IP blocks and we've made sure that they all work well together. So that, for instance, the ISP will take an image and will output that image along with statistics to one of our video encoders so that, um, let's say we're doing a video conferencing system, uh, we pass on um, a, a histogram of, um, uh, of the image to the video encoder and it gives you a better, uh, a better shot at allocating your bit rate uh, when, you're, uh, when, you, when you're doing a, a, an end-to-end -end video conferencing system. Uh, 
um, and so we get a better result in that way. And there are other features in the uh, in the ISP which are aimed at making uh, imaging and uh, vision applications more efficient and easier to implement. So some of the other features of the ISP which make it, um, implementation of a vision system uh, easier are that uh, it, it's possible to extract data from the ISP at various points in the pipeline and then process it in some fashion and then reinsert it into the imaging pipeline so that it can be it can be uh, streamed out we can operate on it either in a dedicated piece of hardware or on a GPU and then reinsert it into the imaging pipeline to complete the process of producing the image.